Welcome on in, beautiful people. Patch went out today. New season of Ultimate Team went out today. Going to give you all of the patch notes that we have. And there's a lot of details and a lot of information that you're probably going to want to know. So do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe. Let me know if there's any videos that will help you out. Always here to help you guys out. So let's dive right on into it. You guys know I don't like to keep these videos too long. We're just going to cover the highlights here, the big ones that a lot of people are probably curious about. I'm going to put the link for this actual article down in the description or the I'll put it as the top comment so that way you guys can click on it and read through it if you want as well. One of the big changes you're going to see here is called switch stick delay. Uh, if you're doing a bunch of pre-snap adjustments and then all of a sudden somebody snaps the ball and, you, and you're like doing these snap adjustments, then all of a sudden your guy hits sticks because you're still in the process of doing these adjustments. Well, this feature is now going to allow you to have a delay. So once the ball snapped, you're not going to just hit stick because you're still mid pre-snap adjustments. It's going to cause a delay. So if you put on a large delay, essentially those features just won't work when it comes to the ball being snapped. So that way you can no longer be caught just like jumping on the ground or falling on the ground because you were trying to do something right before the snap. That's going to be one of the big ones there. Uh, there was also an update to the glitch speed boost when it comes to the custom stem routing. That is a hot route that you can do where it changes the distance high or low uh, when it comes to like I want this route to be 5 yards or 10 yards. That is now going to be fixed. Obviously they said they're still working on it as well. You should have seen an increase in pass blocking. Um, so I played a game. I didn't see anything drastic but we will see when it comes to that. Big news on the actual gameplay for CPU, like playing in CPU and dynasty modes or anything like that. They tried to balance out the play calling, more balance between run and pass. A lot of teams were just very run heavy, very pass heavy, as well as they decreased the the time it costs for like the CPU to run like jet sweeps and things like that. Uh, some other big things is the actual formations and uh, there's 11 new formations, including all of these pistol formations. There's a bunch of new jet sweeps under the center for Utah, Bowling Green, Kentucky. I mean, there's a whole bunch of new plays, new formations for multiple different teams. So you're definitely going to have to go in there and you're going to have to check out the new plays, check out the new formations, see what works, see what doesn't work. But there is a lot of new, um, new aspects when it comes to that. Dynasty News. Big news there for you guys, your ability to edit ratings for non-NLI players and recruits. So especially, I know a lot of people are going to be restarting dynasties for when it comes to recruits. You can tweak and edit the ratings now. So that should be a big help when it comes to making certain players better or worse or fixing all of that aspects that you've had issues with. Uh, when it comes to like mass subs for online games and online dynasties, uh, there sh there was a tweak where you should be able to sub in either your second unit or not. So that's some big ones there. And I know there was a bunch of other like um, for gameplay like Clemson. There's people sitting on the actual hill now. Uh, there's also been a couple stats and award system updates. There's been a huge issue with that where like teams who are like five and eight are somehow like the 10th ranked team. There was a lot of stuff up there for that. But obviously, there still is a long way to go when it comes to that. Ultimate team updates. Big updates, obviously, is just the new season. Up upgrades, rewards. Um, there's been a lot of people who have been running into a lot of issues when it comes to playing the champs mode, not receiving our weekly rewards. So they have tweaked that, it said. And uh, obviously, some navigation issues. Mostly, it's just rolling out the new season, uh, rolling out the new packs. That was really the big you know, ultimate team stuff, but a lot of it is more of just like bug related, nothing major, kind of just roll out the new packs, roll out the new stuff when it came to ultimate team. Road to glory, um, you know, small updates, only three updates here. One of them's retune starting attributes for all cornerback archetypes, which includes an increase to speed and stamina, not too much to the road to glory here. Obviously, this was very big on a dynasty and ultimate team release. There's been a couple updates to the road to college football playoffs. Obviously, there's five tiers now instead of three tiers, including a couple teams that have switched. I believe I saw up here Michigan has been dropped now to a different tier in this article. Uh, right here. 
Teams like Penn State and Tennessee jump from Tier 3 to Tier 2. Michigan dropped from Tier 1 to Tier 2 as well. So those are the tweaks, but obviously there's five tiers now instead of just three tiers. So hopefully that can help. And this is just wanted to show you guys here. Uh, there's now people sitting on the hill when it comes to Virginia, Clemson, uh, some some things that you're looking at there. If that was not previously already in the game that which you saw. But that's pretty much all the patch updates. All that stuff is uh, just more presentation stuff, more minor bug tweaks. But the big thing was the ratings for Dynasty, being able to edit those couple of enhancements when it comes to gameplay sliders and then the new season of ultimate team so that's the whole update hope you guys are well informed check out the link if you want to read it all don't forget to like subscribe we'll see you tomorrow another video